Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we derived the equation to calculate the capacitor required to increase the impedance, increase the power factor, and therefore reduce the amount of current required for the load right here. So this is the current that we get from the source. We have the what we call the load current, and then we have the current going through the capacitor. And since there's a big phase difference between those two currents, we can actually reduce the incoming current by picking the right capacitor. And so this is the equation that we're going to use to find that correct capacitor. Let's say we assume that we have a VRMS of 120 volts at a frequency of 60 cycles per second. That's an omega of 377 hertz. Let's say the power requirement for the load resistor is 4000 watts. Let's say that with the original inductor and resistor, we had a power factor of 0.8. That means we have a phase angle of 36.87 degrees. And what we want to do, we want to change the power factor to 0.95. So what is the capacitor required to do so? And we calculated quickly that the phase angle with the new power factor would be 18.195 degrees. So now using this equation right here, we can see that the capacitor is equal to the power, which is 4,000 watts, multiplied times the tangent of the initial phase angle, so the tangent of 36.87 degrees, minus the tangent of the final phase angle, tangent of 18.195 degrees, and the whole thing divided by the VRMS squared, that would be 120 volts squared, times the omega, the angular frequency of the circuit of 377 hertz. And that will give us the capacitor required to get that new power factor. So let's see here, we get uh, 36.87, take the tangent of that, minus 18.195, take the tangent of that, equals, then multiply the times 4,000, divide by 120 squared, and divide by 377. That gives us a capacitor of 310.4 microfarads. 310.4 microfarads. So you can see that with this equation, that becomes relatively easy. All you need to know is what your initial phase angle is, what your final power factor should be, and so we can then find the final phase angle, the power required by the load, the VRMS, and the angle of frequency of the circuit. And there it is. That capacitor will take care of that. And that's how it's done.